what is going on guys welcome back to another brand new division video what i got for you guys today is my hexotic pvp build that i've been using a lot uh, mostly in the dark zone uh, i just made this a couple of weeks ago and i sort of just started using it again um, i will say that there's definitely a lot of room for improvement for this specific build that i've been working on uh, but as of right now um, I haven't really put any division tech or really optimized anything other than the weapons on this build, so for now, uh, this is what we're going to be working with. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you guys have any questions regarding this specific build in the video or any other builds in general that you guys have questions about or maybe want me to sort of try to make, make sure you guys throw your questions down in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get right in the video. Alright, so first off, I'll just get this out of the way. You guys probably already know the two weapons on this build. One is going to be the house, and the second is going to be the lightweight M4. So quickly, I'll show you guys my talents since you guys know basically what weapons I use on every single build. So for the house, we have Unforgiving, Brutal, and Card Counter. I'm trying to get like the maximum output of damage from this weapon combined with the talent, so that's the reason why I have Unforgiving on it and not Responsive. And then for my lightweight M4, I have Deadly, Responsive, and Compton. Uh, one, I've just really never wanted to craft another one because I've never gotten lucky enough to get a good one. And I also have this one fully optimized, so I've really never even felt like re-optimizing another lightweight M4. So that's the reason why we're still using that one. Alright, so starting off first, I'll show you guys the vest that I'm using. This is the Exotic Barrett's Bulletproof Chest Piece. It uh, has firearms 1678, uh, 1982 armor. That's actually pretty good armor compared to the other ones that I have in my uh, in my inventory. And then for the major attributes, I have health and health on kill. And then minor attributes are increased XP kill. I would rather have ammo capacity, but uh, I have really bad luck with these exotic vests, so that's what we're working with. Next up is going to be the mask. This is a high-end, tenacious mask. For me personally, I feel like this is one of the most helpful pieces in the build itself. Um, I will say you guys see that I have uh, critical hit chance as my major attribute. Um, for some reason, if you guys feel as if your skill power is really lackluster or just in general your skills are really, really weak and shitty, um, you guys can, can just change the critical hit chance and put more skill power on it. It's up to you, but I feel as if my skill power was decent enough to be able to get away with adding critical hit chance. Um, so that is the reason why I am running critical hit chance on this mask instead of skill power. Going on to the backpack, nothing really special. This is like almost the exact same backpack that I've had for like two updates now, which is the specialized high-end backpack with firearms. This is actually crafted from a blueprint 1,459 firearms and 1,305 armor with the major attribute of health and the minor is 50% ammo capacity on it. Going on to the Exotic Skulls MC gloves, uh, I've had a lot of these gloves that I've had dropped previously from Exotic Caches, the Dark Zone, Killing Name Bosses, and Open World, and I just have really never gotten good luck, so uh, these are the best ones that I currently have in my stash at 971 armor with 1257 stam on it, and then my major attributes are Skill Haste, which is sort of helpful even though really Skill Haste isn't sort of like in the meta as of right now for 1.8. And then SMG damage is health. I would have liked to have had double crit and then SMG or maybe AR damage, but I got really unlucky with these gloves, and we have AR damage and SMG damage, so I guess it's better than nothing in the end of the day. All right, guys, so lastly for these two pieces in the end of the build, uh, for the knee pads and holster-wise is going to be a classified uh, striker's knee pad, and then it's going to be uh, a classified predator's mark holster. Now, I know some of you guys are probably wondering why I'm not using a predator's mark holster and a predator's mark a pair of knee pads or a striker pair of knee pads and a striker holster and the reason for that is going to these exotic pair of gloves damage is increased by 16 percent when no gear set bonuses are active so obviously the whole point of running those gloves is to get that extra 16 percent and if i was able to pair these two of the same gear set and get a bonus then it would deactivate the exotic gloves and there'd be no point of running those gloves so that's the reason why i'm running two different gear sets for the last piece um, which is Sentry's, or er, Striker and Predator's Mark. Um, obviously, you guys can use any gear sets you want. You can use Nomad and, you know, Sentry's Call. It doesn't really matter. Um, I just picked these two because they are the highest armor and they have the best stats and the best attributes for Major and Minor out of all of them that I have in my stash on my character. So, that is the reason why I chose these two. Like I said, you guys can choose literally anything you want for the knee pads and the holster. It's up to you completely. Um, but, yeah, that is basically it for the uh, the gear of the build. Also guys, forgot to add this in, so I thought I'd throw it in right here quick. Uh, the mods I'm using are firearms mods with skill haste, I have three of those, and then I have uh, two stamina with health. So I'm running three firearms with 3% um, skill haste, and then I'm running two 
um, stamina mods with health on it to give me extra stamina on my build. And then for performance mods, since my skill haste uh, is a little bit higher and my skill power isn't all that high, it is decent at 123k. Um, and I want to get the maximum output for my heals. Um, all my performance mods are 6% first aid self heal, if you guys were wondering. Because like I said, um, this update is all about having a lot of toughness and a lot of firearms compared to having a lot of skill haste and skill power like 1.7. So um, obviously for this patch, your skills are not going to be as you know helpful as they were previously for 1.8. And specifically your healing station and your heals especially. So that's the reason why I'm running all of the skill haste and also all of those first aid self heal performance mods. Lastly, going on to the skills and talents for my build. Nothing really too crazy to be honest using my booster shot and then my immunizer healing station so that I don't get uh, shocked or caught on fire. Then also it's just sort of like an extra heal for you when you're in a heated battle. Um, for my skills, I'm using all medical skills. I'm using adrenaline so that med kits give you seven seconds um, of immunity from status effects. So if you catch on fire, bleed. I know some people say that it doesn't really work 100% of the time, which I definitely agree with. Sometimes I get caught on fire from the same person again after that, but um, it's definitely worth using in my opinion. Battle Buddy, uh, reviving a down teammate to reduce incoming damage for 30% for 10 seconds, which is extremely helpful after you heal someone. Critical save, everyone uses critical save, I'm pretty sure, using a med kit during low health. Increases damage resilience by 20% for 10 seconds. And then lastly, combat medic, using a med kit near your teammates, help heal group members and proxies within 20 meters by an extra 40%. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is basically the build. Um, if you guys have any questions about build, like I said before, make sure you guys throw that down in the comment section below. Uh, I'm still working on this build, as you guys can see, my uh, my build is very, very low at 281 gear score rank. Um, like I said, I haven't really optimized anything on the build other than the weapons that I have for all my other builds. Uh, but that about does it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.